Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And once again, outstanding guests. And we're going to talk about the Bowie State Bulldogs. You know, the Bulldogs, they really are tough. There's so many things that are happening out there. They just lost a, a game, uh, one point, you know, when the women lost by one point. But, but we have the outstanding athletic director. He's going to tell us something. What's going on on the Bulldogs campus? Welcome, Anton Goff. Now, this is your third year yes, uh, with uh, Bowie State. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those people that, you know, that haven't been around, you know, just, just got here. Definitely. Uh, well, mm -hmm. first of all, thanks, Ed, for having me out here. I always love doing your show and uh, love seeing you at our games. A little bit about me. I've been in athletics almost 20 years. I'm a wow. former student athlete, played football at Bowling Green State University is in Ohio. Right? Yes. And then uh, I I've worked at a lot of universities. I've worked at Kent State University. I've worked at Michigan State University, and I've worked at University of Maryland twice. And uh, as you right? said, three years ago, came to Bowie State from mm -hmm. University of Maryland and have been uh, there as the athletic director for these past three years trying to improve our program. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, let's talk about improving your program. Uh, you told me off camera there are some of the physical things that's going to be out there for the fans this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, we're trying to improve our facilities for our student athletes as well as our fan experience. And uh, so what we're doing right now, we're in the process of renovating our weight room so our student athletes can uh, get bigger, stronger, and yeah, faster. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then also our student population can also use it to get a little healthier, even though they're not student athletes. But still, we want everybody on the campus to be healthy. And then we're also doing renovations at our football stadium, which is really exciting because we're going to put lights down there. We're going to put right. uh, visiting locker rooms, home locker rooms and put a brand new concession stand. Congratulations. I'm telling you, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I hope uh, some of those political guys and send you some money from the state. You got, we got a little help there. <laughs> got I, I a little really, help. Yeah, a little I really help appreciate the their help. Yeah, for the political system. Because I tell you, we've been out there beating the bands about uh, Bowie State get their share, you know what I mean? That's, I appreciate that's, your support. That's, that's the main thing, you know, and we really enjoy coming out there, you know, to see the Bulldogs. Now tell us about this basketball team. Uh, uh, tell us about the ladies first and then the men. What do you expect of them this year? And name some of the stars. We have a, a, a a lot of excitement around our women's basketball team. Renard Smith is in his second year as the head coach there, and so he's starting to put some of his own uh, touches on the program, recruiting-wise, coaching-wise. And uh, we're looking to uh, be exciting for the rest of the season and compete really hard. You know, we mm -hmm. just lost, like you had mentioned, the game mm -hmm. by one, one point to Lincoln right. University. And uh, we've got uh, Bria, Tia, We've got um, a whole bunch of young players that we think in the future years are going to be pretty good. So we're looking for big things from our women's basketball program. And then on the men's side, uh, we've got a senior-laden team. Uh, we know a senior-laden team. Yeah, we've got a lot of seniors on our team. So right? we're expecting big things for them. Byron Westmoreland at one point in, the country, in one point of the year has uh, led the country in scoring at over 27 points a game. Nope. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to uh, – What position is he? He plays shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah, small. Oh shooting guard and small forward and so mm -hmm. he's versatile he can play probably three out of the five positions and uh he does a great job for us coach brooks who's in his fourth year is doing a great job and you know we've been close but we want to make sure that we get down to the tournament and win it and mm -hmm. hopefully both our men and women and what's going to be in charlotte Back in Charlotte, back, yes. Back in CIAA Charlotte, tournament, right. Back in Charlotte. Right. So we're you looking know, to do good my, things there. Uh, reporter, uh, Edwana Larkin, and okay. she, she'll be down there. She good. covered it last good. year. Yes, right. yes. Right, Charlotte. Yeah, so that'll be great. That sounds very exciting. Okay, well, you know, uh, uh, most uh, universities, you know, sports director, they always push the major sport. Tell us about some of the other sports that you have there uh, at uh, Bowie State. We're, we're very proud of all 13 of our sports. And, uh, okay, in particular, tell us about it. Uh, in particular, Women's bowling. Uh, we have a yeah. They had championship bowling. Yes, yes. I, I, I remember that. We have a couple, <laughs> have a couple of championships in bowling in the yeah. conference, and uh, we just had a bowling tournament this past weekend where our bowling team finished seven out of fourteen, but we were the top Division two finishing team uh, in the tournament. So is that really, right? Yeah, Congratulations. Really Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And then we also uh, our track team is very strong. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple individuals that I believe will represent us at the NCAA meet um, for indoor and probably outdoor 
also. And so, you know, we're very proud of all, all of our student athletes mm -hmm. um, on all 13 sports. And, you know, for us, our main objective is to make sure our student athletes have a great experience and end mm -hmm. up graduating from Bowie State mm -hmm. University. And uh, the scholarship, how, how, did that, how, did, how is that set up? Uh, scholarships are set up. We uh, have a budget uh, mm -hmm. for scholarships, and mm -hmm. what we do is we go out, recruit individuals for individual sports, and each program has a scholarship budget that they use at their discretion. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you can give as little as a couple hundred dollars mm -hmm. to help supplement uh, book fees, mm -hmm. or you can give all the way up to the, all of their tuition and housing. And so it's up to the coach's discretion on how they use those. And then what I do is I try to support them with going out and fundraising for extra money. So if, if a student athlete needs extra money to go to summer school to pursue their graduation, then uh, I try to help out on that way also. Okay, tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, program, that, that the uh, basketball program that uh, you have there that it's in C uh, people are confused as far as the conference is concerned. It's the CIAA, isn't it? It's yes. Now, uh, you know, we have Morgan State that's mm -hmm. in the area, but they're not in the CIAA. No, no, uh, uh, name some of the teams that's in the conference. Uh, uh, the CIAA conference, Division II conference, and we uh, consist of teams in Pennsylvania, Maryland, North Carolina, Virginia. And some of the teams that are in the conference, Lincoln, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, in Virginia, we have Virginia State, Virginia Union. Down in North Carolina, we have Elizabeth City, Chawan University, St. Augustine, Winston-Salem and some other schools down there. So, you know, we're pretty spread out. Now, mm -hmm. when you talk about Morgan State, Morgan State's Division One, and they're in what's called the MEAC Conference with mm -hmm. Howard and Hampton and those guys. Mm -hmm. I see. And, and the rival uh, of Bowie State is... Which school? <laughs> you know what? We got a couple rivals. Got a, uh, you know, well, Virginia it's, it, Union's one. Virginia right Union is one of them. Uh, Virginia State's another. Yeah. And Lincoln is becoming a rival since they came back into the conference uh, three years ago, since mm -hmm. they're only an hour and a half or so away. So those three schools are probably our biggest rivalries because of proximity. Well, what do you look for in an athlete? You know, so many things have happened along the pro ranks and along the uh, uh, college ranks. Uh, about uh, injuries and, and coaches uh, making decisions about that. Give us, give us your idea about that. Um, I, I would say that when we, as a staff, go out and look for student athletes and recruit student athletes, first and foremost, we're looking at student athletes who fit Bowie State overall because you're going to spend a lot of your time being a student athlete, but you're going to spend more time being a student. And mm -hmm. so we want to make sure that you have the capacity to achieve academically at Bowie State University. Um, then we look for those who can contribute um, athletically and mm -hmm. fit into the scheme of what our coaches are looking for. You know, football mm -hmm. has a different scheme as basketball has, you know, and so those student athletes that fit in those uh, coaching schemes, that's what we go out and look for. And then mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, we look for good people. Mm -hmm. We want people to come in and, and be thoughtful and honest and have integrity and, and want to do the right things. And so those are the type of things, traits we look for in student athletes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, I spoke of injuries as uh, one of the things a lot of moms out there, I know my mom was that way, you know, when somebody get hit, and she worried about getting uh, injured. Uh, tell us now, what do you think the rule that the pros have about injuries? They go out and stay in, and they're trying to improve the equipment. What, what do you think about that? I, I think it's a great, great um, effort to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, what, I, what we talk about at Bowie State University is making sure that it's student athlete first. And so we want to make sure the welfare of the student athlete is taken care of. Anytime we have what we think is a, a, a head injury, we mm -hmm. have a battery of tests that our trainers do with that student athlete before they're clear to go back. So it's not, so it's not good enough anymore. It's like back in the days when yeah. I played where you say, <laughs> hey, coach, I'm okay. Put me back in the uh, game. Uh, now a So it's not left up to the player. Absolutely not. We mm -hmm. make sure that our training staff who who – who have medical knowledge about those type of things, um, give the uh, okay or the heads, the thumbs up or the thumbs down on whether a student athlete is allowed to return to practice mm -hmm. or, or play. I see. Well, uh, that, that is the protection of uh, the uh, players exactly. is, is one of the major things. That's what, uh, you know, uh, parents need to know, you know, is that uh, the benefit that the school's not just uh, having the player, you know, and they're, don't care anything about that. Well, what about the equipment? They've, they've, they've talked about 
improving of what do you think there's any equipment that needs improving that uh, that they I, de I definitely think that um and, and it will continue to improve the helmets obviously mm, the helmet um but you know what also improves though the student athlete improves you know mm -hmm. you get bigger stronger and faster so when we're talking about the sport of football the collisions become a little bit uh yeah uh, Man, more like intense. a Mack truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it becomes a little more intense. So, right. uh, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there concerned about that. And I, th I think through the years we'll see the helmets improve and we'll see the shoulder pads improve. And, you know, because at the end of the day, you want to be able to protect them, but you also want them to be able to perform with the equipment. So, you know, I, I think that that's getting better and that's a good thing that technology is helping us get better at that. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you prepare the uh, – uh, the student athlete for your program? Basically what we do is we make sure that they're going through the proper conditioning, weight lifting. Pr prior to the season. Prior to the season, mm -hmm. yes. Um, you know, these days, being a student athlete is all year round. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're out of season, there's a special uh, spe specific training regimen that you're going to go through. Mm -hmm. When you're in season, you're, there's a specific tra training regimen you're going to go through. And so our coaches make sure our, our student athletes are prepared to the highest point of their ability to be able to go out there and compete and to be safe. Yes. Well, that's one of the things. Now, well, what about this fundraising? Uh, uh, how, how do, how do uh, some of the people out there want to get involved with uh, helping you raise money on the different projects that you have? We have a lot of different projects that we have. Anybody can give money to either the general fund or they can give to specific. If they want to give mm -hmm. specifically to men's basketball, mm -hmm. volleyball, mm -hmm. they can designate their money that way through our uh, institutional foundation. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we have a program called 1001 Bulldogs. Okay. And it's a support group for our student athletes to mm -hmm. provide scholarships, to help with equipment, oh. to help with facilities. And so mm -hmm. anybody can give to that. And the information mm -hmm. at the end of the show will give you the website that they can uh, contact mm -hmm. me and uh, we can talk more about it. Uh, okay, then. Well, uh, tell us about uh, some of the things that you are looking forward to as far as uh, improving your programs. Well, one thing, like I talked about, was I can't wait until the uh, locker rooms are done at the stadium yeah, just to right. see that. And, yeah. you know, next year we probably won't have night games, but the year after that we're looking forward to having yeah. one of our first night games, and that's uh, never happened at Bowie State. And so, right. You know, it never look, had, yeah. That so is 2014, correct, man. 2014, right. I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to having a night game out there. Right. That, that's that's wonderful, fantastic that, that they can have the night game. Now, another thing, I've uh, talked to some fans, and they, what about the stands? You're going to improve the visitor stands. That's one of our, that's one of our goals that's in our mm -hmm. uh, 1001 Booster Club, that we want to mm -hmm. improve the stands. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, we've been getting bigger crowds lately, mm -hmm. and so, you know, it's good to have yeah. people standing around the fence, but I want to give them an option to be able to sit, sit too. So sit we want to uh, ex extend the stands on both sides to accommodate mm -hmm. more people because hopefully, yeah. you know, with our changes and, and as our teams improve, okay. more people want to come see them. Right. Okay. This is Ed Brown. Hey, we'll be back in a second. Hi, welcome back to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And what we have here, we have Anton Goff. He's the athletic director of Bowie State Bulldogs. I mean, everything, female and the male. You know, if we're talking about the championship team. The bowling team is mm -hmm. just uh, out, of, out of sight, <laughs> you know, and uh, they have been very uh, consistent. I like to give them a plug too, you know, and 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 the track team. Now, tell us what, what in the future. What are you? Where are you going with this basketball team? Hopefully, in the future, we're going to the NCAA tournament. Now, and where will that be held? That will be um, held probably up in West Virginia because uh -huh. we're in the uh, in our region. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, you go somewhere in West Virginia to play, and then hopefully, you get to the uh, Elite Eight wherever they hold that at. This year, it'll act, our Final Four will actually be in Atlanta mm -hmm. um, to commemorate. Oh, the Final Four will yeah. be in Atlanta. Yep, for the first time, Division Two, II, Division Three, and Division One will all play in the same place. Is that right? Yes. I mean, uh, uh, how did they come about that? That's something new. Yes. Well, it's a seventy. I've never heard of that. Yes, yeah, the seventy-fifth anniversary of the tournament, and so mm -hmm. they're doing something special for this year. Yeah. Right. Well, tell us more about that. Well, hopefully, uh, we would love to be down there playing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but you know, we got play, we have to play one game at a time and not mm -hmm. look that far ahead. But I think it's a great thing for just fans of basketball because you know, down at the Final Four. 
the first game is on a Saturday, mm -hmm. then there's nothing happening on Sunday, and then the championship game is on Monday. So the Division Two, Division Three game, championship games will be played on that uh, Sunday when there's nothing else going on. So it'll, it'll be a great opportunity for student athletes at, at the Division Two and Division Three level to get that national exposure. And the uh, women are going to be involved in that, too. The women won't be down there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure where the women are playing mm -hmm. this year. But usually the women play um, well, somewhere in North Carolina or somewhere in uh, West Virginia also. Mm -hmm. Well, well t uh, tell us, how, how does an athlete prepare himself for uh, the step from college to pros? Do you get involved in that when you have a, possibly have a, a, a pro, and you've had pros on that team. That, and, and name some of the pros that from Bowie State. Well, for football, we've got Isaac Redman, who is a running back with the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. Mm -hmm. And then last year we he, had – He's playing now. Yeah, he's, he's with the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. And then mm -hmm. last year we had Delano Johnson, who is on the practice squad with the Houston Texans. So mm -hmm. um, we've got two recent pros there, and then we've got um, – No, congratulations. Yes, yes, thank you. Right. We're very proud of those young men. Yeah, people need to know that, you know what I mean? And local, when we get the local boys like that big pro boy, mm -hmm. we really go out, you yeah, know? Yeah, definitely. So, and uh, who else now? You were getting ready to No, the, those are the two in football that we and, have right and, now. And, and football. Yep. Okay, what about basketball? Basketball, we have a young man by the name of Travis Hyman who is playing with the uh, NBA Developmental League for uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Um, Oklahoma? So, yeah, uh, OKC. So, no kidding. Yes, yeah, so he's out well, there. What, what, what's his name? Travis Hyman. Travis Simon, yep. yeah. Well, is he a local? Yeah, he's from Annapolis. He's from Annapolis. Annapolis okay, yeah. so great. He, he played. We'll give, it, give yeah. him a plug. <laughs> Bowie State. Exactly. Man. He played so, center for us last year. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh well, I've seen him play there. Yes. And what is his height? Seven foot. Seven foot. Yes. yes. I've seen him play. Mm -hmm. Right. Seven foot. Oh man, that's great. Okay, now, uh, as far as your program is concerned, just uh, what would you like to uh, do to, Im to improve it? Well, I'd definitely like to raise more money so we can have more mm -hmm. scholarships. Okay, so you want to get volunteers involved? Volunteers this? involved, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I said, they can uh, look at the information at the end of, the, uh, of this program. Mm -hmm. Give me a call. Volunteers, anybody who would like to help us improve our program, we can always use extra help. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what specifically, do you have a specific pro uh, project that you're dealing with? Well, uh, just like you um, got the lights and got the uh, 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 locker rooms and uh, stands and all of that, is something else you're working on? A couple on? things. One, okay. uh, we're looking at, I, I would really love to revamp our track. Okay. Um, right now, we, do, we don't have the capacity to hold track meets, mm -hmm. and uh, I would really like to be able to do that so our track members could Mm -hmm. have some home meets, but then also open that up to the uh, community mm -hmm. so we can have, you know, we got a lot of young track clubs that are running around. Yeah, right. That would right. be a great place for them to practice and hold mm -hmm. meets during the summertime when we're not in school. And then uh, I'd really like to revamp our scoreboards in our gym mm -hmm. as well as at the uh, stadium. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to make it some video boards, those mm -hmm. type of things. Well, you have video board now. Don't you on the other side? It's, it's a sign board. It's not really it's video. I want to be oh. able to see the actual game being played oh, on the video. Right. Those type oh, of video it's boards. a sign. So, yeah. so you want to get involved with the video board, yes. right? Now, how, oh, how do you uh, actually, when you recruit, uh, you go to these high school games locally? Uh, Our coaches I, do. I, your coaches yes. do. Yes. How, how do you do that? How do you determine whether a uh, 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 player is – in the future of Bowie State Bulldog. What our coaches do, we do evaluations. They'll go to the high schools, watch guys play. They'll watch a lot of film to see, mm -hmm. um, you know, how a guy plays. You know, a lot of times we get a lot of highlight films, and mm -hmm. everybody looks great on a highlight film. Mm -hmm. But when you watch serious game tape, that gives you a perspective on how, what, what that youngster does play after play, when they're not getting the ball, when they're not involved in a play, and that also determines, you know, how good they're going to be. And so our, our coaches are very good evaluators mm -hmm. of talent, and that's when we look at when we're looking at uh, student athletes to you come take to Bowie State. Recommendation from the public. Yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I know it's, it's some mothers and dads out there figure their their, their uh, son, you know, yeah, or uh, daughter. We get a lot of inquiries. A lot of people send me film, and I, I is that forward, right? Yeah, I forward so, it to our coaches and so things that's, of that nature. Uh, anyone. If, 
feels Anybody. that they have yes. a uh, hot prospect yes. and just send you the film. Yep. That's great. Well, that's just great. Bowie State is really, really doing a great job out there, uh, physically and mentally. They've improved the programs academically. You can get a PhD and everything out, masters. So uh, when you decide, where, you know, where you want to send, think of Bowie State Bulldogs. I'm telling you, they work with the community, they're always involved, and uh, this is a good example here with the athletic director that uh, there's projects out there that you yourself can get involved in. And uh, uh, Coach, uh, what's your prediction for your teams this year? I'll um, put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I always predict that we're going to do great. Uh, uh -huh. you never, I never predict a championship, but I know mm -hmm. we're going to compete day in and day out every game, and we're going to give it our Bulldog pride try. Mm -hmm. So what was your record last year? Last year we ended up finishing first in the uh, CIAA North Division, and then we went to the semifinal no game of, of the tournament. Thank you. And uh, right. lost in overtime in the tournament. And so, All right. Uh, That's good news. Yeah, yeah, well, it's good and bad. Mm -hmm. It's good to win yeah. the, the division, but you want to win the uh, actual tournament and play mm -hmm. in the NCAA tournament. Okay. In, in the NCAA tournament, uh, now, that's different from CIAA. Yes. You can actually win the CIAA. You have to win the CIAA to get into NCAA. You either have to win the CIAA to get into the NCAA or have be, or be ranked high enough to get an at-large bid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, and who does the ranking? The, uh, there's an NCAA committee that does the rankings. Is that right? Yes. And what do they do? How do they do it? They, they look at your uh, wins and losses, mm -hmm. your strength of schedules, your opponents, things of that nature, and then they rank you accordingly to what they think you, you should be ranked. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is the Bulldogs ranked now? Right now we haven't had the regional rankings out. You usually mm -hmm. have to be in the top eight to be mm -hmm. in the uh, regional tournament. Mm -hmm. and so okay. We're, so we're looking to improve our standing. <laughs> well, you say you're looking, looking forward to it. Huh? Yes. Well, uh, all I can say is that you're doing a terrific job Appreciate out there, that. you know. And uh, I, I see you, you out there <laughs> on the <laughs> sidelines there, you know, uh, really pushing them on. And... Uh, individuals out there that you feel you want to get involved with an organization, get involved with Bowie State. Get your youngsters out there, not just in the athletic programs, the, the elastic programs too. And with that coach, you have a part in work? I just want to thank you for having me out here, Ed. I always enjoy coming on the show, and I really want to thank you for your support also. You're at mm -hmm. a lot of our games. I see you on the sidelines yeah. taking pictures, doing your thing, and so I enjoy coming here, and I enjoy have, seeing you at our venue. Um, we're looking forward to finishing out strong, and I encourage anybody who's in the community to come out and support Bowie State University, the Bulldogs, and we'll do you proud. Okay. I do have a question for you since yeah, you okay. asked me a lot of questions. Right. <laughs> Who you got in the Super Bowl? Oh, the Super Bowl. Are you kidding? I'm a, I'm a Baltimore all the way. You know, <laughs> uh, you know uh, actually, it's, it's a uh, defensive team. That's what that, the quarterback is doing fine now, you know what I mean? But their, their history is defense. And any time a team can hold uh, an offensive team like the Patriots, the 13 points, they got something going. And the fact that the defense scored two touchdowns. What do you think of that? Uh, that's definitely uh, – <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that. I want uh, the local team to bring it home for us. Mm -hmm. I know a couple guys on the team. And Is that right? Yes. And, uh, you know, Ray Lewis' last Lewis, game. Yeah. And hopefully Ray Lewis goes out with a Super Bowl ring. And those guys that I know from University of Maryland, Torrey Smith, Laqu mm -hmm. Laquan Williams, yeah. hopefully they'll get their first Super Bowl. And, right. you know, this, I, I think this, that the total area will be absolutely excited if we win it. Yeah. I, I, I think that uh, – Really, it's, it's time, and, and, and Baltimore has played the Ravens have paid their dues. Uh, you know, uh, they've been uh, uh, second or near it, and, and, and this is their year. And the way that they played those uh, highly offensive uh, teams, I think they can handle the 49ers. Okay, I agree but, with you. <laughs> but but uh, with that, I like to say that uh, uh, Bowie State uh, is in my heart. You know what I mean? I mean, Bowie State, that, that as far as they're concerned, I always tell people, you know, if I was the coach, the first place I would look 
for a pro player would be uh, uh, Bowie State because I've seen some outstanding. You named a few that have made pro, but uh, uh, quite a few have made pro, uh, and they have a terrific program out there, not only in um, uh, in basketball and football, but that bowling team and that, uh, you, you know, bowling team doesn't get much uh, PR, you yes, know, but yes. they have been very, very consistent. And you tell the coach I want to see her on the show because we want to talk for S1. And then I want to see some of the players on the basketball and the, the uh, men and the women. Make sure the women are there because I yes. don't want to get in trouble. No, not at okay. all. We'll make sure that happens for you. <laughs> all right, then. This has been Ed Brown, and I'll see you next time.